big black Australop cockerel, one of 500 birds that are being judged today at the show. <laughs> uh, oh! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dula from Dula and the Beast, and I welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club Part 3. Now, I would recommend using a headset for this because my audio is pretty shitty, and I would it would probably be mostly better if you wear a headset. Don't worry, and when I start actually filming again on this, I will redo the whole audio system and make it sound a whole bunch better. This is just me experimenting with it because this was my first time trying it. So, thank you guys, and enjoy. But if you don't take us seriously... <clears throat> but if you don't take us seriously, then won't you see the end of it? Atsuki, you clearly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her mouth flush in her mm. Mm. Atsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Atsuki falls back in her seat. Don't worry, guys. You guys always... No way. Dillas always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with some busy work without even asking me, like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Silly, that's because you're really messy and it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> See, <Yeah>, that's only. <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Why can't this ever happen? How come? You and Gil have become good friends too. Um, Sayori. Hmm. Da, 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 da. I use those Sayori's as a bloody sense of the She throws the voice like, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Ow. Oh. Oh. You're even probably you suffer to, you know. Wait, Sayori. Me? Um, not, not really. Don't be shy! It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Say it never mind a big deal, but it's really not. Uh... Oh, what I do? No, no, that's what I said. That's what I do. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was thinking. I guess that means it's up to me in a rescue situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy, no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I'll make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Here reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's short read, so I should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. This is... This is how we will actually be so cute. How is it, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She is so cute. Oh my god. Even she even picks out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not being much. Here you thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Alright, everyone settle in. I expected Monica to kick out some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem Siri and Monica have a cheery conversation in the corner. Monica's face is literally buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression when she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is bothering her around the book in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to bother her. I slid down at Mira's desk. How am I supposed to argue about myself with something which I could really admire myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the books Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired. Probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and I'm listening to see how these conversations are going. We're probably. I'm probably going to sleep really late and could be all about our class, so. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our only chance to show everyone that the bridge is all about the problems that are. The idea of all the lit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The problem is that all the idea of electric club is too intense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. So it kind of speaks to a creative mind. Hmm. I thought that's not a problem, though. Yeah, what do you mean? Even 
Even if they come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place with a cool return event. So it's more important than figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And if they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. I like how I like, like keep on the word and like, then they come to speak their minds. Like, I, I do that a lot. I don't know why, but I do. Watch this. Sari is taking things really seriously. It's rare to see her deliberately take like this. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Oh, well, I guess we could. Okay. Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Hey, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. They will work out perfectly. So perfectly. I saw that the, the squiggle. That's what that means. That's why. It, that's what. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I gotta really call it soon here. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speaks in a creative dummy. That's so cute. Dun, dun, dun. Cupcakes it is, honey. I'm hungry. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. We, in the end, it's serious still hurting yourself. But there in lies the unexpected reason I admire. Unlike me, who has trouble finding motivation at all. So you can put our mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose it's fine enough like again. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh. <laughs> what the? F no. What happened there was I saw her. I started using her voice, and I went down. And I saw a dealer, and I said, "Ooh, what?" So I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> "That's dealer's mating call." If you guys haven't figured that out yet. Oh. What? No. <clears throat> what? I don't. Oh. Oh. I opened my eyes to find serious space filing my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Hey, sorry! Wait, actually, I'm not sorry at all. I don't think we're falling asleep like that. This is a napping club! Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you have to get less time for anime, you know. You need to get used to it. I don't have to say that out loud. I glance over my shoulder and see if I'm over her. It's true, though! Yeah. I No, I know. You're always looking out for Siri. Hee hee! It's the best! That's a problem. What about you? You don't look up. You look up for me better than you look up for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Yeah? Not every day. It's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's. the secret! I knew it. Come on. Who do see the back of the doubt? I can't even do that. Look, Siri, written all over you. Eh? Siri glanced around at herself. How's it written all over oh. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair. It's sticking out from over there. It is? Where? I don't see it. It looks perfectly fine. Ah! I ran my fingers down the side of her hair, trying to Hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's much more than just your hair. Look at your bowel is not straight either. And there's a toothpaste strain in your collar right there. That's how I felt straight in my finger. But nobody would even notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't care about that. <laughs> you need it. And you don't even need to keep a blazer button up. Seriously, Siri. Why do you think that you have a boyfriend yet? Why don't you... Sorry. Why do you think you ever have a boyfriend yet? Hey! That's it for me! Sorry, bud. You'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer in the bottom. They're so, they're so adorable together. Oh my god. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. That is so cute. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it would be with friends with those kind of things. Huh? Don't, don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. No, no, no. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay. No. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, 
I guess. Hey, be careful! The button might come off! Why is that one so hard to close? Oh, it's a boost. I struggle to fun hit the button on her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Hey, <laughs> Peter, I bought it! <laughs> Sorry. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed that sooner that it didn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? Oh, Jesus Christ. It means my boobs are getting bigger again! Don't, don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah! No, ah. <laughs> Why does it feel strange to see Sierra's blazer button like this? But it's so stuffy! Uh, it's not worth it at all! Say it hastily on button serve the blazer once more. Phew! So much better. So he puts her arms on and twirls around. So if I keep my own button, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Are you saying that? It's like a good thing. Because if I had a boyfriend, then they wouldn't let me do what you do things like this to me. And you could... <coughs> Sorry. And you take care of me better than anyone else would. Anyway, I'll try and keep it on button. I'm sorry, I'm happy when I keep fucking up. Stop saying all those embarrassing things. Yeah. I didn't say it's embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyways, just focus on what you try to wake Just try to focus on waking up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. I'm fine. What's the deal? Hey, <laughs> hey. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you could come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Siori. Um, but I was joking about that. It's impossible to tell you, tell what's with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems you wrote now? Yay! You are can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I feel the sound enthusiastic but Siri trots away to achieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. Oh, I can I right click. I can okay. My relaxation ends. I can't believe it. I can't believe I agreed to do something like this so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, you know that everyone's ready. We don't need to find someone to share with me. Why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Syria. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pulls out their poems. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaves torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting before I say. Natsuki and Yori would like to reply as they reach into their bags. I do the same myself. Who shall, who shall show my poem first? Sayori, my best friend. I'm definitely the most comfortable sharing with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Oh my goodness! This is so good, dear! He is so adorable! I'm sorry! <laughs> I love it! I have no idea you're such a good writer! Sayori. You must have been seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. oh wait, no wait, was that me? That was me! Shit, I'm sorry. Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> so, oh my god, I like her. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Gary's idea has a little No, it has to be a little more than so I can do to destruct it. Okay, if there's a night system after this one, I am going to call it. Maybe even not. <clears throat> Maybe even not Suki's. Are you sure you don't like it? Because I just wrote it. Eh? Well... Well, I'm sure it's a part of it. I think I understand you better with a lot of other people, you know? So, when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a dealer poem. That makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your right. <clears throat> like I can feel your feelings in it. 
Sayori hugs his sheet against her chest. You're so, <clears throat> you're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm just really happy you wrote that one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm sitting in front of you in the cl club room. Oh, of course. I don't know if I should call it now. I'm getting too tired. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise to you. See? <laughs> it's like I said before, dealer. Deep down, I'm not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this one for other people. That's, a, that's something that you can only get really good people. I should go to bed, you guys. What do you think? Should I... I'm gonna try to stick it up, do it. Please bear with me. Please. I'm sorry, I know I can't fucking read because I'm tired, but just do your best. Dude, just bear with me. I'll do my best. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Siori. I'm not sure if Siori sees a full picture of my motives here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? And they'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you that then. Got you in my palm too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning it makes me feel like you're missing me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me grow up. It's like outside for my reason. Okay, I just don't get that. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me grow up and sleep. Just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. That's a bad. As, <clears throat> that's bad as good breakfast. I could tell my voice was cracking. Why do it? I'm getting too tired. I should go to bed. <laughs> Siri. <clears throat> I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This one is so much fun! Monica's the best! Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. I'm going to write the best poem ever! Oh, I'm going to look forward to it. Oh, I got it. I got to go through all of them. How about Yuri? Separate from the topic matter, and they form it together. But 
net result is a bold style and expensiveness are weakened. Once Jay finds a train of a thought, it is if it, it is if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you'd be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them in book. Excuse me, it's editing them. Thank you. Just go away. Stop. I don't need new mess. I know I've got emails. Thanks. Together, it's probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, but it, it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, but biased out. Um, well, never mind. I should be top of people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Billy's apologizing to herself, to me, or not to me. <laughs> do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts and process behind them. Behind it. You least smile as dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for hers. Which, which itself is kind of funny. After all, it isn't supposed to be a literature club. Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber bolt of faded. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future I be. Calming breathing and calming breathing air of the pre present living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. That's adorable. Sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read that. Uh, well, I just did. I don't read the script very often. I actually have to say, the people with bad handwriting tend to be smarter people because they are thinking more and putting the, their mind on the paper than they are really on their handwriting. So that's why they keep they write fast and maybe it's illegible. That, um... Some people might find it hard time reading, but the thing is, is that their mind thinks faster than their hands. Well, I just read the script very often. I just don't read the script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. That, that, that's a relief. I, was, I like the poem. Even though it's short, and it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you in a ghost, Yuri? Hoo <laughs> hoo. Actually, the story is about a ghost that isn't about a ghost at all either. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in life. Damn it, why is it, why is it doing that? They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to ghosts. Lingering in the last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solo than putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing new. Just remember that it won't be long before you have done these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll just keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay. Hi, dealer. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, even if you have, even if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or anything we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring these things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. That <laughs> much, I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more, more settled there. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I'll have to. Ah ha ha ha! 
Don't worry about it, dealer. All little bears into that, you know? But it's just a sort of barrier that we all learn to get past in. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my phone. Hmm. I like this one. It really makes you think of say something Siri would like. Is that so? You and Siri are really good friends, right? They will, I, will, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sort of things to come. Yeah, well, we may... I, I, I'm just remembering her poem and it was hilarious. We may be a good friend, but Sarah and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that she wouldn't expect. Like the way she talks about you, it sounds like as if you two are really care about each other and each other's well being. Even if it shows in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You surely are not reading it into it too much. Uh, I, I could be. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in that case, Siri's writings is much more is much kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes to spoil with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy saying things too? Yeah, it's totally unexpected. Well, to each other, to, uh, to each of their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to start with it. Fuck. Come on. I'm almost off with this. I got one more girl to go. I got this. I got this. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Hey guys, thank you for watching my part 3 of Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, as you can tell, I'm pretty, pretty tired while I'm reading this, and I got one more episode after this through my uh, shitty, tired side, and also my <laughs> not really great um, audio, but I will promise you I'll get this fixed on my next recording. So guys, make sure you like that subscribe button. Make sure you like that subscribe button. Make sure you press that like button. Uh, subscribe, please. Share with your friends or family and the Doki Doki uh, Literature Club friends. You know they're going to want to see this, hopefully. Anyways, guys, I want you all to have a nice night and stay quiet. Boom.